Hey yo, it's me, Harper Savage, and today I'm gonna be painting on this piece of wood. Rainbow wood, actually. You get it, let's move on. So I'm getting out all my paints and I'm putting some splooches on the wood and I'm gonna spread it out with a sponge. I find it lays down the paint a bit more opaque or thicker so I don't have to do a bazillion layers. And that way I also don't really need to prep it with gesso. Spoilers, I do many layers. I go in with this like minty greenish blue color. I really like that color, it's one of my favorites. And then a regular skyish blue color to mix it all together. I just really like the effect that the sponge has with mixing things too. It blends it like really nicely. Sorry for the camera movement. I'm like dabbing down really hard to make sure I get all the paint out of the sponge and can blend it out nicely. Then I used a brush and I blended it out along the edges just so I wouldn't, you know, waste too much extra paint trying to get into those edges. Now I really wish that I had just left it after this point. But for some reason, I was determined to add purple into the mix. I regret it. It just doesn't seem like it's the right tone. Like for everything here. So I tried to correct my mistake by adding in more blue. And then it was too dark, so I tried to add more white. <laughs> and there, there was too much white, so I tried to add the minty color back in. You know, you get it. It's like so on and so forth, just perpetually dabbing. Again, I wish I had not done the purple. When I'm satisfied enough with how it looks, aka my arms were tired of dabbing. Not that kind of dabbing. I moved on to the actual rainbow. I did it in rainbow order. Shocker. I spared you guys from actually watching the whole thing though, because you know, it's not really that interesting. And you can see like the mess that I left. Beautiful. I had a hard time deciding what color to make the raised wood. I was too messy with the sponge earlier so I couldn't leave it as it was like raw like I had originally planned. So I chose what I consider to be a neutral color uh, and it's silver. And it's so shiny and reflective, so it doesn't really look like silver on the camera to me, but trust me, it's silver. I used a roller hoping I wouldn't get any of the paint into the like the the nooks, but boy was I wrong. I even got it all over the sky part too. Like that's just how messy I was. I don't know, I just wasn't having a neat kind of day, I guess. So, you know, now I'm stuck in perpetual cleanup phase. I basically go back and forth between cleaning up the mistakes I make. I thought about cutting it out, but I wanted you to suffer 
along with me. Are we having fun yet? Because I sure was. And now we're back on to the silver. And I instantly got some into the red, like I said, perpetually fixing it, slowly going crazy over time, as you do with any art piece. Oh my god, the green looks so bad. Oh, and that blue too. There it all goes. Man, that purple's really dark. I don't think it's that dark in real life. Here we go again, touching up the rainbow bands. Oh, but good, I did cut that part out so we don't have to suffer anymore. Ooh, and now we're finally onto the sparkly part. I dabbed some glitter Mod Podge into like some sections, not all over it. I didn't really have any rhyme or reason to where I was putting the glitter, but I did whatever just felt right. It's hard to see, but it is there. I decided that that was not enough, so I went in and added a bunch of glitter into uh, the rainbow band. Which I think was a good touch. Oh, it just looks all pretty and sparkly and glittery. I put the Mod Podge in the cap to make it easier for me to use the sponge. But it was not easier putting it back into that jar of Mod Podge. I think they like really stick out on camera on the like darker colors, the green, the blue, and the purple. Ooh, sparkly. And now I start to work on my shield I failed to mention at the start of the video. I wanted the shield to represent me, so I thought, what better way to represent myself than my current signature? I did actually change it recently, if you didn't notice. I mean, maybe you didn't, I don't know. It's not that huge of a change, but now it's a, um, it's my initials with a peach shape around it. It looks more like a heart, but it's supposed to be a peach. And now I get out my fancy dancy tea ruler that has a bunch of stuff all over it and chunks cut out of it to try to space out those lines and it did not work out the first time.
So then I had to decide on colors, and well, it's Pride Month, and I wanted to do something that really meant something to me. So I chose the non-binary flag colors, because I'm non-binary. This is not me coming out, it's been public knowledge since at least 2016, and if you didn't know that, then you've never clicked on any of my bios. Now I wanted to leave it striped, but I couldn't get it crisp enough for me. So I decided to blend it, and I hate yellow, like I always hate yellow, but it actually blended quite nicely into the white. I had more of a hard time getting the black and the purple and the white to blend together. So I basically spent way too long blending this to get it to a smoothish looking gradient. Not super smooth, but smoothish. So to try to keep within the colors I already used, I decided to make the edges black. It was just the easiest choice. When I very carefully go around it, I try not to go right up against the, um, the non-binary colors because they're still wet and that's why I'm holding it so weirdly on the edge like that. Like it's about to fall out of my hands even. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. But I managed to not drop it. So I was checking to see if, you know, the paint was dry and a tragedy happened. It wasn't. So to my demise, I had to fix and blend it all over again. Wasting more time. After letting it dry forever, I smashed some glitter onto the front of it to make it sparkle. I grab the rainbow again, pat it to make sure it knows it's a good boy. And now it is time to glue it down. I do just used like Elmer's clear glue. Uh, I was gonna use wood glue, but there is paint all over one of the wood surfaces, so I don't know if it's technically wood anymore. It seemed to work. So to stay, you know, on theme here or within the color range, I decided to pull it all together by making my signature silver to match the rainbow arc. I'm not a huge fan of how it came out, but I refuse to redo that damn gradient. I'm like so over this by now that I'm just like, let's just power through it, make it the best we can and call it a day. But overall, I am pretty happy with how it turned out. And I hung it on my wall almost instantly after it was dried. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!